feelings signal to us that something needs our attention, needs our attention. It's basically our mind going, hey, right here, I need you to pay attention to this. Feelings are excellent teachers, but they make terrible masters, right? They let us know that something needs our attention. But here's the problem is we have not been told that. We have not been raised to understand that. Hasn't happened. Instead, the way that we've been raised is that we zero in and focus on the emotion and get wrapped up in the emotion rather than what the emotion actually means or what it's trying to tell us. Our mind is signaling that something needs our attention. There's something here that needs our attention. Maybe someone says something to me and I get real angry and they're disrespecting me or whatever, whatever the statement is. It's an opportunity to, for me to understand on a deeper level what's going on here. There's a mechanism at play that needs my attention. And am I going to pay attention to it? But we typically don't do that. And, and what does this look like? I'm getting curious, getting curious about the emotion. What is this? What is this really? And it's an opportunity for us when we say feelings are signals. It's an opportunity for us to get curious and go, what is this? Where's this coming from? Why am I experiencing this? It's asking that question. It's getting curious about where the emotion is coming from. Like, ooh. What is that? If I get defensive, whoa, what is that about? Why do I feel so defensive? What's underneath that? Instead of going, gosh, I'm upset, been out of shape or whatever. Instead of getting caught up in the emotion, you reacting, right, to the, to the emotion, which means you're not in control. It's just a reaction. What if we step back and got curious about the emotion and said, what's going on here? It's an opportunity for my mind, for me to assess my mind and go, What's going on here? What's underneath this? When I have a strong negative emotion, what if I step back and go, whoo, what is that? Where is that coming from? But no, what we do is we look externally, the thing that's causing us to feel that way or the person causing us to feel that way, and we get caught up in the emotion. This is why you see people doing the same patterns in their lives, doing the same thing. Same terrible relationships, same job situation, same life situation, same financial issues. What you're seeing is they're not addressing what's going on underneath the surface. They're reacting to the emotion. They're going, oh, it's, it's them. Instead of going, why am I feeling this way? Why am I reacting negatively to this? Where is this coming from? Where is this response coming from? And that in that space is where our feelings can be teachers. Like in that moment, it's an opportunity for us to go, well, wait a minute, why am I getting so angry at so-and-so? Like, I don't need to be getting that angry. Why am I allowing that person to disrupt my peace so much? What's that about? And, and I think that's something that we really have to pay attention to and understand, like stepping back. Now you're your default reaction is to react and get caught up in the emotions. That makes me so mad. I can't believe it. What? But does that really solve anything? I've watched my father master this. It's, it's incredible to watch. He's mastered this. And part of this is his personality. But part of it is also just work he has done on himself. When things go wrong or they get messed up or whatever, my father, he has an, il uh, an illness that will eventually claim him. His attitude towards it is incredible. Does he have emotions around it? Yeah. Does he have feelings around it? Yeah, absolutely. But it doesn't rule his life. And he is someone that in that space, when he feels those strong emotions, I've seen him. He steps back. I've seen him walk away from a situation momentarily. I've seen him respond, go, I need a few minutes to think through that. And then I'll respond. He assesses it. That's where we want to be. We want to get to a place where we get curious about the emotion. What's going on? What's the mechanism driving that emotion? What's behind it? But we just assume, right? Oh, it's them or it's that thing. Or if that person wouldn't do that, then I wouldn't act this way or I wouldn't respond like that. But what if we put that aside, reflected inward, said, what is this? What's going on? What's the mechanism? What if we took a completely different approach and looked inward and went, huh, let's, whew, why am I feeling that? Why am I feeling that pressure? Where's that coming from? I got curious about that. I think what would start to happen, what I know, what I've seen would start to happen is that those patterns, they would start to get disrupted. 